I'm Shigeo Ijuin. I'm a torture sommelier. I help people get true justice. There are many countries on Earth, and every country had criminals. <laughs> Too slow! It's mine now! Thief! Help! And different countries had different laws, and different sets of rules on how to punish criminals. You won't be needing this anymore! Take that! Ah! In some countries, they took extreme measures to punish those who broke the law. But sometimes, criminals fled the country. Idiots! I gotta get out of the country! Fast! And sometimes, they got away with it. The man who killed my husband is in Iran! Why can't you do anything? We don't have a criminal extradition treaty with Iran. Depending on the country, sometimes there was nothing you could do about it. But even if they beat the system... Gotcha! Time to die, asshole! Ah! Nobody gets away from me. Nobody. Look at that thing. Looks pretty wild. Yep. Check this out. Let's start by crushing his feet. Ah! Wow. So powerful. Yeah, I work on my own, so... I gotta stay thin. You can run, but you can never hide from us. Today, I got a surprise from an old friend. Long time no see, Mr. Shigeo. Sophia, what are you doing here? It's been a while since I saw her. Her name was Sophia Taylor. She was a torture sommelier based in England. Take that! Die! <laughs> She was a descendant of a knight. She used swords and other weapons to put her victims away. I wasn't expecting to see her. Shigio, I need your help. You hear about the exchange student who got murdered here? I want to get the guy who did it. I remember that. It was all over the news two years ago. Her name was Sarah. She was murdered two years ago. Um, my roommate disappeared. I haven't heard from her in two days. Oh, uh, I'm sure she'll turn up. Her roommate reported her missing. But she was a grown woman. The police didn't do anything. What do you think we should do? She's an adult, right? She'll be fine. She was an adult, so they decided to wait a few days. But then, something terrible happened. Ah! It's a body! Sarah's body was found in a dumpster in N Prefecture. Cause of death was suffocation. We also found traces of sexual assault. Oh no. But the guy responsible, he wiped everything clean. There was no physical evidence to go on. The police started looking into the case. A few weeks later, they found their prime suspect. Is that him? Yeah. He's the guy she was with before she went missing. His name was Yoichi Kashima. He was a 26-year-old businessman. Sarah gave him English lessons. Good. Keep it up. Thanks. So that's how they knew each other. And after a few lessons, Kashima developed a crush on her. Miss Sarah, let's go out to dinner. Sorry, my roommate is waiting for me, so... He tried to get with her, but she wasn't interested. Then Sarah was murdered, and when the police searched his house, they found her hair. It's a woman's hair! Uh, Kashima, you're under arrest for murder! Uh, he was arrested on the spot. Everyone thought the case was closed. But then, a few days later, he was let go. The cops didn't have enough evidence on him. Thank you for your help, sir. Of course. He had an alibi during the time of her death. And the hair in his room? It wasn't Sarah's. Sarah's parents came to Japan a few weeks later. The Japanese police is one of the best in the world. We believe they'll catch the guy who did this to our daughter. They said at a press conference. But even after two years, they had no leads. Sophia told me Sarah's father hired her. So you don't even know who the target is yet. 
Yeah, I need your help. I guess he was sick of waiting. So he decided to take matters into his own hands. This is going to take some work, but I had no reason to say no. All right, I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Shigyo. And whoever did this to her, someone has to pay. After Sophia left, I contacted my informant, Godai. That guy who was let go, Kashima, he's guilty. What? It's a long story. It's complicated. Then he told me what really happened. Kashima, his father was the attorney general. And Kashima, he was his illegitimate child. Here's your check. Don't tell anyone about us. Yes, sir. He paid his mother good money to keep her mouth shut. Two years ago, the former attorney general was retiring. People were fighting over his position and he was one of them. I see. So that's why he had to make it go away. If this got out, his career would be over. That's why. So he decided to use his powers to swipe it under the rug. She gave lessons to him at his house as well, right? So an inheritance room proves nothing, right? Yes, sir. He made it go away before this thing backfired on him. But still, there's no physical evidence, right? How do you know for sure that it's him? Ask him. It was a homeless man. Probably in his fifties or so. I saw him dumping the bags at the dumpster. There's always someone watching. I got eyes everywhere. I see. So now we had an eyewitness. And he's not lying. I can tell if someone's lying or not. All right. Nobody can lie to you. Godai could tell if someone was lying or not. It was his unique ability. So now we had more than enough evidence to go on. So this guy kills an innocent girl in cold blood? And his daddy swipes it under the rug to protect himself? This is unforgivable. It's time to make them pay. These guys don't deserve to live. It's time to make them pay for what they've done. I called Sophia over to share my findings. The Tory General? Ugh, that piece of shit! Save it for the torture room. Let's get to work. We already knew where to find them. The next day... What the... Ah! You're coming with me! You killed an innocent woman. It's time to pay. Sophia grabbed Kashim on his way home from a bar. Then we got his dad while he was on his way to see his mistress. What the- oh! Time to die! Time to die, asshole. You're gonna pay for what you've done. Another mistress? I guess he just doesn't learn. So we brought them back to the torture chamber. Shigio, pour some hot water on them. Roger that. <laughs> Sophia told me to wake them up. The two of them started screaming like idiots. What is this? I'm the Attorney General! Yeah, this is illegal! Seriously? They must be joking. Usually I spend some time talking with my victims. But this was Sophia's show. Shut your mouth, maggots! <laughs> <laughs> I guess she wasn't that interested in what they had to say. First, she went up to Kashima. Impressive. Kashima, how's your mouth? Does that hurt? Tell me, you killed Sarah Taylor. Why did you do it? I didn't. Don't even try to lie to me. If you lie to me, I'll cut out your stomach. <laughs> Kashima was terrified. Slowly, he started talking. It was her fault! I loved her. She kept saying no! What? Kashima was selfish. He started spitting out nonsense. Why did you assault her then? If you loved her, why would you do that to her? I... I've never done it with a white chick. So I just wanted to see what it was like. You didn't love her. You're just a filthy animal! Then, a moment later... Die! This is for her! Ah! 
Sophia took out her sword and slashed him. His gut started spilling out. It's called seppuku. I'm gonna make you suffer. He was bleeding out fast. Then Rukawa said to me, Uh, technically that's not seppuku. True. It's more like disembowelment. Seppuku is when you cut your own stomach, so this was different. Disembowelment was a widely used execution method around the world. Time to die! Ah! They slashed the victim's stomach and pulled out their organs. In some countries, they pulled it out of their anus. Next, she went up to Kashima's dad. What is that thing? That's a warhammer. They used to use those things in battle. This thing was huge. It was terrifying. The father just stood there in silence. Then Sophia said to him, I have nothing to say to you. You were supposed to uphold the law, but instead, you make me sick. Ha! Ah! Sophia crushed his left knee with the warhammer. Ah! Take that and that! I'm gonna crush your limbs one by one! She started crushing every bone in his body one by one. A few minutes later... I'll tell myself in! Please! Same here! Please! They started begging her for mercy. So Sophia said to them, You want forgiveness? Fine! Bring Sarah back to life! Huh? But I killed her! Yeah! But we can't do that! I know that! What you two did is unforgivable! This is where you die! She was right. There was no way they could make this right. Shigyo. If you don't mind, can you finish them off? Oh, if you say so, but you sure? Yeah, I know you're the best at this, so... Gotcha. I was hoping she asked me that. I came prepared. Rukawa, go get him! Yes, sir! Finally! I've been waiting forever. His name was Himuro. He was an underground doctor. He was one of the best in the business. Patch them up for me, will you? I want them of alive for at least 24 hours. Of course. You sure got a lot of friends, Shigyo. Sophia got them pretty good. But death would be too easy on them. I wanted to make them suffer for as long as possible. Prison would have been much easier for you. Well, too late now. I'm gonna make you two suffer. <gasps> they should have never tried to beat the system. 30 hours later, they drew their last breath. And so the job was done. I took Sophia to the airport the next day. Thank you for everything, Shigyo. I really appreciate it. Of course. I owed you one, so glad I could be of help. Hopefully this will help Sarah's parents move on with their lives. This world we live in, it's full of evil. But sometimes people got away with doing horrible things. Well, not on my watch. Nobody gets away from me. Nobody. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.